Enter a vehicle right from your desk with the interactive HMI database screens. We click on the map to get into the feature navigation. On the lower area, we've got our menu ribbon. There's new destinations, my destinations, which are like personalized points of interest. Uh, change the map view from 2D to 3D, etc. You also can choose the satellite map and if you zoom out, you can see rivers and construction sites and yeah, you can see the whole globe even. When clicking on the button in the upper right corner, the map is automatically zooming to our vehicle or to our position. And we're going back to 2D mode and switch off the satellite map. Zoom in a bit. And here we are. There you can change the volume of the announcements. Navigation. We're going back again. And as you have heard, um, the music is automatically playing so that you can hear how loud the announcements are compared to the music. You click on traffic, you can see all the construction sites um, in the near vicinity. Up here, you can choose different contents to be shown. Um, amongst others audio as well so while you are using navigation you still can see the audio feature then there's a compass and yeah just let's enter a destination so click on new destination this country city Wingham, that's where we are um, we're going to change this to Stuttgart here we go and then we enter Theodor Heuss Straße. This is where our headquarters is. And number 24. And here we go. You can see the destination on the map and we click on start. Route is being calculated. And here we go. We see the next maneuvers in the upper left corner. There's a roundabout, turning right, turning right again. And it's immediately shown in the instrument cluster as well. I'm quickly capturing a video of this so that you can see it. The map is quite large in the instrument cluster, just as in the Audi Q8. Here I also have the option to change the view. So expand or collapse the tubes. Uh, I will stay in the large map view. And yeah, we're going to set off on our journey. Since we're driving slowly, you see the park distance control popping up. So whenever there's a car passing, you see the sections turning red or yellow. So we're still waiting for a free slot to enter the road. But it's not really that the car is telling you whether you can enter the road. That's just a regular park distance control being activated here. So now we are entering the road and we're following the route guidance. In the instrument cluster, there's a speed limit warning popping up. I entered this before, so now he's complaining about my uh, speed. On the right side, you can see a symbol that is informing us that the next maneuver is going to be a roundabout. Same symbol you can see in the head unit on the left side. And in this case, we are not following the route guidance. Instead, we're making a right turn just to see how fast the system is recalculating the route for us. And here we go, we're not Going straight, but turning right. And there comes the alternative route. That was quick. To see the whole video, create your own free account at screenstudio.com slash signup slash demo and start benchmarking right away.